हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू सिंपली कोड्स यूट्यूब चैनल कौशल दिस साइड एंड आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग वेल टुडे विल बी टेकिंग यू थ्रू एच टी एम एल बैकग्राउंड द डिफॉल्ट बैकग्राउंड कलर ऑफ एनी वेब पेज इज ऑलवेज व्हाइट बट एच टी एम एल अलाउज अस टू चेंज इट इन डिफरेंट वेज विल सी हाउ टू डू इट इन टू वीडियो बट बिफोर वी बिगिन इफ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब टू अर यूट्यूब चैनल ऑलरेडी Make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. Any web page we create using HTML always has a white background, which sometimes may look a bit boring to the user. So is there any way through which we can make it look a bit attractive to the user? Yes, in HTML we have the background color or the background attribute. This attribute is used to change the background of either the whole web page or of any particular tag. We can use an image in the background or we can just change the background color. We'll do both in today's video. So let's start by changing the background color of the whole body first. To change the background color of the whole body, we can use the BG color attribute. BG stands for background color and we can use the name of any color. its hex value or the rgb value of any color now the fun part is this attribute is deprecated in html 5.0 a lot of such things happen in html 5 so let's see if we can still use this attribute to change the background color of the whole body what we'll do is we'll write here inside the body tag we'll simply write here bg color and we'll pass the color name so let's say we are writing red over here you can see the attribute is written in red color over here the bg color we are talking about this attribute so it's red in color it means that this is not working anymore so let's save the program and you can see here on the browser that this thing is still working now to change the background color of any particular area like we can say a division we have to use the background color attribute we'll change the background color of a whole division for that what we'll do is we'll write some code first so we have used the same code from the previous part wherein we discussed the div tag in html we have a list present inside this container save the program and you can see here on the browser right the background color of this division is red for now because the background color of the whole body is red so it's invisible basically so what we'll do is we'll remove this bg color from here save it now and you can see we have this division over here now what we have to do is we have to change the background color of this particular division so for that we'll move to a division and here you can see we have the style attribute so we have to provide the value or the property inside the style attribute only so we have color and border over here already now what we'll do is we'll write over here background color and the background color is going to be let's say aqua so if you are using vs code you can see we have this colors over here and what we can do is we can change the color from here and it will set the rgb values accordingly fine so vs code provides us with this option now save the program and you can see the background color of this particular division is changed now so this is how we can change the background color of any division if we try to use the bg color attribute or the bg attribute whichever we used in the body tag previously it will not work over here because that thing is depreciated from html5 and to change the background color in html5 or above versions we have to use the background color property only inside the style attribute we can also use the same style attribute to change the background color of the whole body what we have to do is we have to write here inside the body tag so here's our body tag and we have to write here style style is the attribute and here we have to write background color so the background color is going to be let's say a little different for now what we'll do is we'll use the brown color over here save it now and you can see we have brown background for the whole body tag right for the whole body we have the brown background another thing we can do with background is we can change the background of any division or the whole body with an image as well the property name inside the style attribute will change and we have to provide the url for that image that's it. so let's do it here we'll try doing it with the division first so what we'll do is we'll write here inside the div tag so we have this division over here we'll remove this background color property from here and instead of background color we have to write here background image 
So this is the property name. Now inside here, we have to provide the URL. So URL is the path of our image. So we have a images folder present in a system. So this is the folder. Now we have these images present over here. What we'll do is we'll use background1.png. Save it now and you can see the change in the background. So this is basically a transparent background. So let's make some changes over here. What we'll do is we'll remove this style attribute from the body tag and save it now. You can see this is the background. We can also change the color of this particular div tag. So the font color basically. So let's make it black for now. And we have to move the marker from here to black. And it's good to go. save it now. And you can see we have black font color over here. So you can see the image in the background of this particular division for now. We can do the same thing with the whole body as well. Right here inside the body tag. So we have to write here again. We have to mention the style attribute. Inside the style attribute we have to mention background image. The URL. The process will remain the same. We have to provide the image path. So we have images and then we will provide background 2.jpg. Save it now. And you can see the background. It's a little bit tricky to see it over here because the image is not clearly visible. So for that, we have another property present in HTML. So what we have to do is we have to write here with background image. We have to pass the property as background size and the value is going to be cover. Save it now and you can see now the image is clearly visible. So the font is not visible because the image color and the font color is quite similar. So we can change it from here. So what we have to do is we have to change the color again. So let's do it once again and now we'll try to use white. Save it now and you can see this over here. So this is not clearly visible but this is how we can change the background of any particular division or the body tag in HTML. So guys, these are the few ways to change the background of any web page using HTML. I hope you guys got it. The task for you guys is to use a GIF file here and see if that thing works or not. Not much of a task. Just change the file name here and we have to pass the file name with .gif as extension. Just change the file name and it will work. So that's all for this video guys. See you in the next one where we'll go through HTML colors. If you enjoyed watching this video, do give it a thumbs up. If you have any doubts, do let us know in the comments below. Share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Simply cool. Thank you.